Hey guys, it's me again with another wash and go tutorial, but this one's a little, little different. So today I'm coming in with a review on a local brand called Hair by Omari and they sell $45 bundles. Are you $45 bundles? I know I love some bundles. Boom, they got it. They on island. You don't know. You need it. Like, come on. <laughs> I just plain. Anyways, they are located on island, like I said, and you can contact Adisha, Asanja, or Andrea. They also have a little business card with their um, information on it, which I will put down later below. Okay, but for my naturalistas like me, who doesn't wear a weave all the time, and you know you need your hair to be dubbed up, <laughs> they have shea butter, but not just regular shea butter, whipped shea butter. Like, you have whipped cream, whipped shea butter, and it smells amazing. So I'm just going to give you a quick review on how it works for me. So I'm just going to start off by putting a little bit in my hands and just, oops, well, and just rubbing all of that in. Look at my hands though. Okay, okay. So I'm just going to rub that into my hair and see how it works. So just put in all of it one time instead of each section. And honestly, guys, I, I, you could see, look at my hair. Like it went from dry to just like, oof, instantly, like, come on. Now I'm just going to do it section by section so that each section can have that same amount of moisture in my hair. Are you? This is my hair with no product. Like, do you see that? Like, no product whatsoever, just the shea butter. I just want y'all to see that I'm not just doing this for any type of clout or to just be like okay this product works like it's working there's proof all right so next i'm just going to use this coconut and milk and honey leave-in conditioner i'm honestly not going to be putting a lot of things in my hair because i want to show you guys that the shea butter is working on its own however the shea butter alone will not curl my hair to the <laughs> my liking so i have to put different things in my hair to have a long lasting wash and go Next, I'm just going to use the leave-in cream for that same line. I can put it in the link description down below so you guys can know exactly what these products are. But I'm just going to rake that through my hair and just kind of make sure I coat each strand and get it all up in the, all up in the. Alright, so the last thing I'm going to use is the curling cream by that same brand. I'm just going to rake it through my hair just like the leave-in. Uh, I smelt it and it didn't really smell too good, but I was just like, you going to got to walk today. So, yes, I only use three products in my hair. Well, technically four if you count the shea butter, but four products in my hair. I'm not using gel this time, which is a risk for me with wash and goes, but I just want to really see how this shea butter works in terms of moisture for my hair. So by now, I think you guys get the point of what exactly I'm doing. So I'm just going to do the rest off camera and then just come back and show you guys. Okay, so hey guys. Um, this is my hair. I haven't really done much after it dried. But this is day one. And... My hair is really moisturized. I don't know if you can see my hands. Like, I have, like, okay? But I'm sorry. I'm a little sweaty. I was outside. But my hair is honestly really, really moisturized. I mean, I know it's day one and everything. But usually my hair just kind of has, like, this dryish feeling. But... 
day one so I definitely missed a day it's day three ish because it's about to finish but yeah um my head looks really crazy right now I was home all day I didn't really do much today but I gotta tell y'all moisture is definitely I was running my hands through I don't know if you could see but like like my hands are moist like they have like I can still feel the shea butter so that's really impressive this is day three my hair usually by day three feel like a brillo pad I ain't even gonna lie to you but so far so good I'm gonna fix it up and look a little decent and we'll come back and you know but for the most part other than it looking crazy it's very moisturized so not day two day three I think I'll do one more day just so I could look better than this yeah okay guys so it's day four um I almost forgot to do this video again like day two but I was combing my hair and I was like oh yeah we gotta do this whole video but this is day four um I was kind of tired of my hair oh, in my face so I just slicked that bad boy back if you see any flakies it's really probably due to like the gunks of gel <laughs> that I've been using in the front to keep it like slick but so far still moisturized look at my curls I feel like this is a first my hair doesn't usually last till day four so by day four my hair is in a bun or oh, like I don't even wear puffs anymore but by day four let's just take that off but by day four this bad boy out of this wash and go and ready to to go <laughs> it's not as moisturized as day one and day two that i missed but it is ooh, it is like it has moisture for day four like i don't know how to explain it day four my hair never looks like this and it's day four But this is day four. Let's see if I can make it to day five. Okay, y'all. So it's day five. And I honestly didn't feel like talking today. So I just did a video without talking, which actually made no sense. But bear with me. But this is how my hair is looking. It's still, you know, moisturized. Not as great as day four, but it's still moisturized. Still have a great curl pattern consistency. Still liking it. Think I could make it to day six? Eh, me sure. We're going to see. Okay guys, so it's day six. As you can see, it didn't make it. <laughs> um, my hair was very frizzy and just not looking good. It was time to wash, basically. But it is still very soft. It's still manageable. It's just frizzy and it doesn't look as moisturized as it did on the other days. So I just threw it up in this nice little bun, you know, until it's time for me to wash it. <laughs> But for the most part, um, it lasts. I'm surprised that it lasted this long. My wash and goals last about three days. This lasted six, basically. I personally feel like it probably wouldn't have lasted this long if I didn't use this whipped shea butter. And I actually have used shea butter in my wash and goals before, and they do make a difference. But I've never used it whipped. This is whipped shea butter, and it has different ingredients, like I stated before, which is like the lavender oil, vitamin E oil, castor oil, and all that good stuff. So I feel like this did make a huge, significant difference in my wash and goals, because they never last that long. Shout out to Hair by Omari. They sell all kinds of stuff. You guys can follow them on Facebook. You guys can follow them on Instagram, and it's hair by omari hair by omari um they also have an email as well and they also have a phone number i'll put all of that below and you can either contact adisha asanja or andrea a a a triple a triple a <laughs> all right but um i recommend this product if you guys are looking for this this a, a shea butter that smells amazing has a good consistency 
um, and also you don't have to only use it in your hair you can use it on your body I use it on my body I can actually do a test right now I use it on my body and it was like it keeps your skin very moisturized all right so well this is the side I put it on nice and this is my hand without I don't know if you can see a difference Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, liked it, um, saw something new that you could try with your wash and go. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button for me, please. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, just hit that in the comment section below. And thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.